Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video to help you experience something new today. In this video I will quickly review Spark of Light which released recently on Oculus Store for Gear VR. Spark of Light is an interactive fairy tale like dollhouse game with plenty of puzzles. The game presents levels in a 360 view around you. Unlike a game like Witchblood, which doesn't use the VR capabilities very well, this game is definitely immersive as the environment is in 360 and you should look around to actually solve the puzzles. The game is not like Hero Bound as well because you can't move the character itself. You can only interact with the world, help the character and the character will move automatically. The game looks amazing. Animations, textures, level design and character design, everything is on top of the food chain. Visually, the game is a masterpiece, and it's beautiful. It has five different environments to entertain you for a nearly long time, and puzzles are really challenging. It took about 10 minutes for me to solve one of the puzzles, which show how difficult the puzzles can be. The Gear VR motion controller support is definitely great, and all of the controls feels natural and good to me. Regarding the story, there is a little bit of story line here. The world is in darkness and you have to help the character to restore the balance of the world by obtaining the light sources and illuminate the world by solving environmental puzzles. Overall, the game is really entertaining and beautiful, but like every single game that I review on this channel, there are always some aspects of the game that I don't like. First thing I don't like about Spark of Light is the price tag. The price is so damn high. 9 Canadian dollar is a lot for this game. The game does not have enough content to justify the price. There is no replayability value in this game. When you solve a puzzle, when you proceed to the next level, there is no point for coming back to the previous level. So yeah, the game is cool. I really like it, but the price is not right. The game worth $4 or maximum $5 Canadian dollar in my opinion. Next. I don't like sound effects or background music that much. It's not garbage, it's not bad, but it could be a lot better than this. But it is what it is. Next, you can't control your character which is a little bit disappointing. I can understand the point of the game which is solving puzzles, but if it, it would be really nice to be able to control the character at the same time, like Hero Bond or Witch Blood. It's not cool when you can't move your character in this game. And finally, the storyline. Unfortunately, the game doesn't provide enough background information or any real storyline here. I wish there was a good story like Witch Blood or Augmented Empire, but there is no real story in this game, which is again disappointing. My final verdict for Sparklight is a 7 out of 10. It's a great, peaceful and challenging dollhouse game with awesome visuals and immersive gameplay. However, it suffers from lack of proper storyline, lack of replayability value, and also lack of enough engaging contents. If developers can add more content, add a little bit more interaction with the character in the game, and add more engaging stories, then I would like to increase the game score by 1. But until that time, I see you guys in the next review. Farewell.